Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we discuss the new 117 series bottled in bond offering. My name is Miss Becca Sue. Please join me in welcoming my co-host Steve Akeley, along with our special guest, Kathy, Katie Joyce. That's going to mix you guys' names. <laughs> Katie <laughs> Joyce and Kathy Cool, and unfortunately, not Tim Swyatt. <laughs> hey gang, what's up? How do hello, you? hello. Hello, hello. So yes, Tim Swyatt is supposed to be here today, and uh, and I don't know, a little yeah. while ago, he sent me a message that uh, he's out, and uh, uh, we were talking, and uh, we decided to utilize his sick note to, to realize, if, is this enough? Is this enough? Uh, what do we think? And uh, I sent it over to Becca for her mm-hmm. dramatic reading of uh, Tim's sick note. What do you, what do you got? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to be out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> got something that has me running a fever and no voice apologize for the short notice been a mess all weekend i don't know why that's my tim swipe voice that wasn't like from chicago at you need, all yeah you need the chicago i need to work on my chicago accent yeah, but yeah, yeah. um i mean what do you think I've, I've just been a mess all weekend <laughs> <laughs> a mess you think he's been I being dramatic like there I mean, he yeah. sounds, I mean, okay, let, let's also clarify here. We got okay. three girls on the show. Yeah. Um, man sickness. Oh, yeah. Man oh, woman sickness. Yeah. Like, I would love to talk to Diane yeah. and find out, like, yeah. Dan, like, how, how bad is he truly? And she'll be like, he's right. literally just being a baby. Um, <laughs> yes. He hasn't left the couch and he's just, he's out. Can you bring me some soup? my love and they they always oh honey i just i just need some cuddles will you give me a forehead kiss please <laughs> and it's always that's how it goes with that the male with the male cold is uh just the most pathetic yeah. thing do you and then, think oh, if diane had the same thing but she was scheduled she to be on, she'd be here tonight works she'd yep be she'd be on she'd mm-hmm. be here going yep <clears throat> ah, so yeah guys ah, sorry i've got a little bit of a <clears throat> cold tonight <clears throat> nah, the bourbon will probably fix me up yeah, that's what uh, Diane would yeah. say. Yeah, not Tim. Uh, yeah, it's a whole production with Tim. Yeah, I've I've, I've caught the chill. <laughs> <laughs> and I have another blankie. <laughs> he's been a mess all clock. weekend. He's been a, a mess. mess. He's, he's he's admitted it's blown his whole weekend because he's it's uh, oh been yeah a mess. Anytime oh. I say it's been a mess, it's because I've been like a violently drunk. Yeah. <laughs> But I bet you Diane had a list of shit for him to do this week. He probably didn't have anything going on. She had a list for him to do, and all of a sudden, like, well, he's sick. There's nothing he can do then. We need to oh, prune the trees. Yeah. All these chores, but uh, he's sick. He's we're sick. pruning the trees. We're going right. to uh, edge, edge the yard. <laughs> um, oh, I really me, need us to me. touch up that uh, the, the paint on uh, on all the outside of the house. We have some chips. Oh. Oh, I've, I've come down with the black lung. <laughs> <laughs> on his deathbed for sure you can yeah. just read it oh, in yeah. his text yeah, yeah. oh yeah it's, it's, it's they serious have to just stuff keep going with it it's like oh well if you're too sick for uh this list of chores and certainly you're too sick to uh get online and drink bourbon with your friends oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> and it's sunday night he's gonna make it to work tomorrow it's sunday night oh so you're gonna podcast oh oh <clears throat> No, <laughs> I, I probably can't podcast either. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Steve, short notice. Uh, c- right. Can't make yeah. it on. Yeah. Yeah. He got called out. And the only way he could uh, you know, justify what he did is to call out tonight for this. He he wanted to do the podcast, I bet. He would have podcasted. Yep. Yeah. But he I missed that like on He would have done a lot of research, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well. Could have at least so, sent us his research notes. Yeah, right. Like, he could have right? sent us some information. What right? a jerk. Right. Right. Yeah, he doesn't need to act like us because believe me, we have called him out anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, his wife doesn't listen. So, yeah. <laughs> Kathy, your mom would start listening. Is she still listening, or did she give up because there was no? Oh, video? she gave up before. First of okay. all, she still can't figure out how to find it. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, she listened to it, and it it went on for about thirty seconds, and she goes, "Why can't I see your faces?" Uh huh. I'm like, "Because it's a podcast, mom." And she goes, "But if there's no pictures." Well, I'm not really interested. And I'm like, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's good news. I can imagine Wait, a better, oh, isn't that how she grew a better up? summation right there. Isn't that how she grew up? Like, listen, like, listen sure, to, listen to the, 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 the radio, the Lone Ranger radio? show on the radio. Yeah, she was, <laughs> she loved that show. Yeah. She's gotten spoiled. <laughs> yeah, here, here comes the Lone Ranger. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> like 
like sound effects, but she can't deal with our stupid no, fucking no. voices. No, she can't. I, mean, I get she it, but and that's a good thing for me. Okay. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. If she heard how well, I mean, I cuss in front of her, but still, she'd be like, "Oh, do you really need to say that in front of other people?" Yeah. Sometimes you talk about your mom on here. You don't. You don't want her digging back through the archive. I know, right? That's for sure. I mean, you don't need that. God forbid. Yeah. Eight thirty yeah. in the morning graduation where she's yeah. freezing uh-huh. and. Right. Oh yeah. I yeah. have to stop talking shit about customers because I give them my card afterwards. They're like, I'm gonna listen. And I'm like, <laughs> shit. Okay. Right. By the way, I love you guys if you're listening right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not talking about you. Right. I wasn't talking about you. It was the other ones that I bitched about to you. <laughs> right. Oh, you I call. wish the zero lady would listen because I want her to show up again. Oh. Zero. <laughs> I did not tell her that I had a podcast because she'd be trying. Damn to, it. She'd be trying to phone in. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, on that note, it is time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start with Katie. Katie, what do you got? Well, I have many options for uh, new bottles tonight since I finally went by the barrel shop. And- oh, oh, yeah. So uh, she's got good. Bo- she got bottles for the next like twenty seven shows. Yes, yes. I, I'm good for the next five times we record now. So <laughs> I am going to start with one of these that uh has the uh, plastic easily removable. Now, did uh, did Darren call you and say, hey, because you said you're going to come in on like the the weekend? So I thought we'd see you on Friday or Saturday. Uh, did Darren call you and say, hey, come in on Sunday? Because he likes when it counts when he's there by himself because he likes to have his, his <laughs> register numbers high. So uh, He did not. My intention okay. was to come in on Saturday, but it didn't work out. Oh. And so that crossed my mind when I went in today. I was like, well, this worked out for Darren yeah, then. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I noticed he's on the phone with the customers. He's like, Sunday's a great day to come in. We, you know, we're, we're, it's good. Less waiting. Uh, yeah. Come on. And I'm like, I know why you said that. He's like, all right. I know. But, yeah. He's yeah, like, well, at least they're coming in. Okay. Right. Yeah, that is shameless. All right, I'm starting off with horse and jockey. Okay, that's a great one. Taconic. Oh, that's really good. It was really good. I feel like it came before the actual. (laughs) (laughs) Which is so funny because we just had a show that I just played where we accused you of of cheating shenanigans. So, yeah. It's like the reverse of real life where you see the. what is it? You see the lightning before you hear the thunder, that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. It's reverse on podcasts. Yeah. Reverse. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair you hear not her little button that she just hit before she did that. Yeah. No. Time delay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Watching like the time go down on my screen. I'm like, and pull. Okay. <laughs> All right. I've got a, a selection from Ragged Branch here. This is their uh, signature bourbon whiskey. So, uh, well loved bottle. Well loved. Okay, I got that today too. Oh, nice. Here we go. Swide on the set. That was a legit terrible. I couldn't get the cork out. <laughs> and then it barely squeaked. And then the slosh went, it went all the way up to the, uh, it almost splashed out. It went up so high. So I, I'm not even in this thing at all. So Katie has the lead. Becca, you, you can go next. I guess I'll go with my bottle that has the least, uh, I, all of my bottles are pretty well loved, but this is my most well loved for tonight's selection, which I've got some old Jet Brothers from Neely Family Distillery. This is our uh, Portuguese Madeira wine barrel finish. Okay. I don't expect much out of it, honestly. Okay. okay. All right, Katie. Second coming. place. It's second place, yeah. Uh, Kathy, you're next. Okay. I wanted to find something that I have that is bottled in bond, since we're going to talk about a bottled in bond. And I found my Old Monroe weeder. Okay. 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 Uh, Ooh, also very good. Good. Some squeak uh, there, squeak. but Katie's Katie's was louder. Katie's was was definitely louder. Uh, I think if Kathy had a mic, all right, Kathy's right. could have won that might one. Have, it was pretty loud. Yeah, yeah but she doesn't have mic, so that's just yeah. the way the cookie uh, crumbles. I, we can't. We yeah, that's on Kathy's control there. So, right. cheers, gang. Cheers. 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 Ding. Look at this cool new glass I got. It's like a little fish bowl from uh, Hemingway nice. Whiskey. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. I like it's adorable. I like it. You should yeah. throw some Swedish fish in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It's it's kind of thick too. It's not, you know, some of those are so thin, but this is a uh, this is nice. I'm I like it. A couple of Swedish fish and I'll be set. All right. We'll take a quick break. And then when we come back, we're gonna be talking about this new bottled and bond from Old Forester from the 117 series. We'll do that in just a few. 
Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we're talking about Old Foresters 117 Bottled in Bond. Yes, we are. So the 117 series started out as picks that you know Jackie did and released through the gift shop uh, at the Old Forester Distillery on Main Street in Louisville. And then, of course, Jackie leaves the company, so they've got to get they got to do something else. So what they kind of start doing is doing some unique offerings. So stored in a certain place in the warehouse, whatever. I don't, I don't follow uh, the 117, everything that they've done with that. And I actually never have even got a bottle of that. I've been to Old Foe, but not when they've ever had that out. And uh, But uh, the latest one is a bottled in bond. So it's uh, the second bottled in bond offering in the uh, in the lineup. They have the uh, the 1897, uh, part of the, their Whiskey Rose series, that is a bottled and bond, and then this one. The famous Old Faux uh, Signature 100 is not bottled and bond, it's just 100 proof. But uh, So this is represents the second thing in their current lineup. Um, what do you think of this one? What do you think about the 117 series now coming in a bottled and bond? I like it with the assumption that I would ever be able to actually <laughs> find it and buy it, which uh -huh. isn't going to happen. But, you know, mm -hmm. aside from that fact, which is incredibly frustrating, it sounds fantastic. Right. I'm really excited for those 12 people. Yes. <laughs> really get their hands on it. All 12 of them we, we yes. are very excited for. Yeah. Yes. Very excited for them. <laughs> yeah. It's tough to get now. Uh, that being said, would you be a little disappointed if you if you came in and they said, oh, we got this one, we got this one, and you end up getting the, the bottle and bond? Because, again, they're only going to have so much. It's going to be on there. The other ones have been, you know, cast strengths. So they've been higher proof and stuff like that versus this one, you know, it's just going to be 100. Is that okay? Mm, I... <sighs> I am not a, a fan of bottle. Like I, I appreciate bottled and bond. I appreciate everything bottled and bond stands for. Right. I don't think that there's anything fully wrong with bottled and bond, but me personally, I am not going to get a bottled and bond product. I know that we have like two in our gift shop right now. We're going to probably do some more. Um, but so, just me personally, it's not my vibe I'm, like i'm not gonna buy a bottle and bond let me uh let me do some deductive logic here so i know you to like high proof whiskey barrel strength and i know you to like low proof whiskey like 80 proof old granddad and i assume you like the high proof that's what you're, you're, you're you enjoy drinking and then but if you're going to go on a drinking session you like to go a little 80. bit lower proof so it sounds like the 100 is somewhere in between and you're like why do you i don't need know something what's gonna happen between? Right. You don't know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen when I'm drinking a bottle and bottle, or when I'm drinking, you know, you know, full like barrel strength. Like I know okay. what's gonna happen. I know when it's gonna happen. I know the you know, time <laughs> it's gonna take to happen. I Seven, know how it's gonna. Six, I know how it's gonna five, set in. Four. I know what's gonna what's gonna go on. And eighty proof. <laughs> I'm like okay. Eighty proof water. Mm -hmm. That's walk around. That's daytime bourbon. It's walk around bourbon, is what I like to call it. You can wake up, take a swig of it if you necessarily if you really needed to. You're still fine. You can drink it all day long. If you want to add to a cocktail, you can. You're not going to get trash because it's 80 proof. Once again, virtually water at this point. Uh, so I know it's going to happen with 80 proof, but 100 is right at that point of like, oh, yeah. well, sure, I could drink it all. Like, yeah, surely to God, it's only 20 proof points higher. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm, surely I'll be fine. Right. No, I won't be fine. I'll, no, I'll get trash way easier, but I, I won't think that because it tastes like it's 80 proof. Oh. I'm going to drink a bottle in bond like it's 80 proof and I'm going to get trash like it's okay. 115. Okay. I feel like I just had a life lesson from Becca. Right, right. And good. realized another, that I may have been making a mistake. Another concern is when you've got this, okay, so you've got this 100 proof that's drinking really, really easy. Really easy mm -hmm. because we're so used to drinking the high proof or we, if we wanted to go, we go down to the 84, like Becca saying. The problem with uh, with this, it comes in a 375. So tiny bottle. Finish I it. I feel like with a tiny bottle, Drink I take bigger pours. I don't know why, but I pour more and then those go so quick. <laughs> and then you finish it. I'm telling it. you, I burn yeah. through that thing in one second. 375s at 100, 100, 100 proof? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink the whole that thing. Is a, what, that is a single, single serve. serve bottle. Right. You have to right. finish that. And yeah. then, like I said, you're like, it's only 100 proof. It's drinking like water. I'm going to be exactly. fine. No, you are going to be trashed. You have to be careful with that because 100 proof is 
strong. Exactly. <laughs> like it is actually. It's like strong. when I go to the store and I get the big grab Doritos, not the not the snack size. I get the big grab size, and it's a, if you look at the back, it says two and a half servings. No, I mean that one serving. Oh, There's yeah. no way. I've never in my yeah. life oh, it's been like I'll roll this up and I'll get to that later. No, well, I'm going to finish that whole damn bag. I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink that whole three if, seven. If all of a sudden sure. that bottle is down to a third, <laughs> like to, to a fourth left, you'll go. Oh my God. It's not like I'm going to be trashed. And then you finish it and you're trashed. Yeah. I mean, that's, the, that is the danger. That's honestly, that's really what I'm trying to say is bottled and bond is dangerous because it does not drink like whiskey that I'm used to. When I'm drinking higher proof stuff, I seriously do drink it slower because it has more of a bite to it, a little bit more of a burn. It reminds me of the proof. Yeah, and yeah. I go, it's like, Hey, oh. it elbows you, you know, oh. Hey, Hey, yeah. here I am. That's 120. <laughs> Better drink that slow. Small sips. That's all right. But 100 proof, I'm like, should I chug this entire bottle? Right. You're drinking that, it. You're that I won't about die. Your next pour. Yeah. You're like, okay. You make right. a single cocktail. You're just like, right. did you do? Okay. Well, there's that <laughs> bottle. What do I <laughs> have next? Like, I'm pouring right. something like like a full glass of wine for bottled and bond. I'm like, right. oh, it's 120. I'll just have a little splash. Yeah. 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 Well, have fun being fucking sure. drunk as shit, Becca. Now, Katie, you right away came out and said you love the idea. Is Becca swayed yeah. you at all, or at least made you think about things a little differently? I, I agree that it's dangerous, but um, right. I like to live life on the edge. So, um... <laughs> you're you're still in, yeah. I mean, I'm still in too. I, I believe me. If I see one of these, I'm going to buy the damn thing, of course. Are you going to buy it to flip thing. it or buy it to drink it? No, I don't flip it. I'm going to flip gonna anything. I will it. come and smash the bottle out of your hands if any of you <laughs> buy anything for flipping. <laughs> like, oh, that's it? No whiskey for you. Smash it on the ground. No, no one can enjoy uh, it now. Okay. You've ruined well, the, it. The, the, but the caveat being, say, say I win one of these raffles and I get to buy a, a 23-year-old happy and someone's like i'll give you six grand for it that's tough for me if i'm spending three hundred dollars not to sell it for six grand i i don't want to flip things but i i also like six grand <laughs> how about this how about you donate it to a charity event that makes okay. a bunch of money for charity and then you take off the value of six thousand dollars off your taxable income uh -huh, maybe so your donation hmm. i feel like i'd, it's I'd rather have six thousand dollars <laughs> me too I'm not I'll a donate flipper. to the charity. I'm not a I'll, flipper. I'll donate to your charity, Katie. <laughs> if, if I suddenly find myself with a six thousand dollar windfall, I feel like there's it's a workaround though, because I'm so much against. Uh, I'm a thousand percent like... against flipping, but I'm not against six thousand dollars. If right. you want it in a raffle as well, I feel like that's like if it would just like walk to the store and you're like, oh, that's a good price. I'm gonna empty out this shelf and go flip them. I feel like that's a different mentality than. I came across this bottle in a raffle. I right. or it, you know, the situation is a little, little different. We're splitting okay. hairs at that point, but I think I would have to open it right away just so that no one can offer me six thousand dollars anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I walk out the door and I'm like pop. Well, I have to record it. You know, sorry, like, yep. can't tell it. Don't even yep. offer it. Don't even tell me the price you yeah, paid. I would love I'm to know what Katie will do because. because some of these they do it's a it's an event so you're there and then there's the people that wait around to because the, they want to see who wins and they might have that six grand cash and uh they're, they're uh, hey i see you won that thousand percent you know, spent hundred dollars a pour and let's and uh -huh. i can make at least 600 i'll give out six pours of it okay mm -hmm. or does it depend on how many bottle and bond pours you've had mm -hmm. to make you not think quite straight enough that's and it. grab that six thousand dollars i feel like the more i've had to drink the less i take six thousand dollars because i feel like it's the logical part of my brain that's like you idiot it's six thousand dollars and this is whiskey take right. it but if right. i've been drinking i'm like no it's my precious yeah like, I'm bottle and bond sure pours, katie's, katie's also like oh, that guy's head i'm gonna yeah. chug yeah. this bottle of happy 23 yeah. i just Fuck okay, your yeah. six thousand dollars light on fire. I'm chugging this right now. How many yeah. here have been so drunk they joined the Rockefeller family? I mean, I have certainly. I don't know, I don't know. Wait, what does that mean? Everything. Uh, yeah. You're spending oh, yeah. all your money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve yeah. Rockefeller over here. Yes. Yep. Does yeah. everyone want shots in the bar? <laughs> yeah, it all sounds like a great hey, idea. Yeah. There's some homeless guy outside. I, know Royce I should get a motel room. Stuff. Yeah, he, he he's in line for pizza. He buys like the next ten people's pizzas or something, and then the next day he's like, "Fuck, I was drunk. I bought everybody pizza." How do we do that? Yeah, it was it was Royce Rockefeller. That's why it wasn't Royce Neely. Yeah, yeah, it happens. All rolls, <laughs> all rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the dangerous sides. Yeah, yeah, for sure.
So right. that's the other danger of bottle and bond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Turn, that's what happens. You'll it turn you into a Rockefeller. Rockefeller. <laughs> you got to be careful. That's a Rockefeller bourbon right there. Yeah. For about 12 hours. <laughs> I think we just came up with something new. I feel like what we just came up with there, a Rockefeller whiskey or Rockefeller bourbon, uh, is something we're going to be talking about now forever. You know how these yep. things fall into the bourbon daily stuff where our audience talks about them. I think that could be one. Yeah. And this might be one well, that I Egyptian remember. Sand cat. The Egyptian sand cat. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's the new sure. Egyptian sand cat. <laughs> All right. On that note, we'll wrap this one up, as we always do, by talking about where people can find us. Kathy, we're starting with you. Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram, uh, KKCaskStrength. Katie. You can find me very disappointed in my search for Old Forester 117 uh, Bottled and Bond on my internet results for the current cost. And also <laughs> over on Instagram at Katie Proof. All right. Miss Becca Sue. You can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Miss Becca Sue, 1K, no C's. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. The important website, those, abvnetwork.com. That's the one you got to check out. Everything that we do is out there. We put all those previous shows or blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. And come by and see us, the ABV Barrel Shop. Katie just did. She apparently saw us today. So, yeah, we appreciate <laughs> that. Like... So everyone can yeah. stop shaming me. That's... Right. No more That's shaming the only reason she up. showed up. A little bit. <laughs> yeah tripping over she's got you know two boxes in a bag or yeah. he started pulled boxes out from underneath the table and <laughs> <laughs> we could take bets on how many trips it took us out to the car to load it all up <laughs> oh that's awesome well i appreciate that uh yeah so come by and see us at least sign up for email text distribution over at abvbarrelshop.com miss becca sue anything else to say before we get out of here i just like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star view that includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. If you like what we're doing, Wesley, please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash the ABV network. Great job today, gang. Farnets will have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye. Peace.